Okay, so welcome to my videos. In this video, I will share with you guys how to perform or how we do the hold out validation and cross validation in Rapid Miner software. Okay, so before we get into the tutorial, uh, I will recall a bit about this two validation approach. The first one is the hold out validation. So basically, the hold out validation is when you split up your data set into a train and a test uh, set okay so the training set is what the model is trained on and the test set is used to see how well the model perform on unseen data a common split when we use the hold of validation is people usually uh, use the 70 percent for the training and 30 percent for the testing and some people also like to use the 80% for the training and 20% for the testing but there is no fixed, fixed rule for this holdout validation we can also use the 75% for training or 25% for uh, testing there's nothing wrong with that that's not a problem it depends on us okay so the next one is the cross validation or k for cross validation so this validation is when the data set is randomly split up into k groups and one of the group is used as the test set and the rest are used as the training set the model train on the training set and score on the test set and then this process is repeated until each unique group has been used as the test set so that's basically the difference uh, from the holdout and the cross validation and if you ask me which validation is the better one I can really I cannot really uh, answer that question because it depends on the problem that we face if the data is quite big or considered as a big data for example the data have a million observation or more than that I'll recommend to you guys to use the holdout validation because this holdout validation will not take too long time uh, for process rather than this cross validation uh, it will be took a quite a long time especially in this rapid miner software okay so uh, if the data once again if the data is considered as big data or have a big observation I recommend to use the hold out validation but if the data is not really big uh, uh, it is okay to use the cross validation and then uh, in rapid miner this hold out validation uh, we, we will use this uh, split data operator and for cross validation we will use the cross validation operator you can just uh, search it up in this uh, tab and the first one I will uh, will show you guys how to do the split data or hold up validation in rapid miner okay so as usual we need to retrieve the data first for performing something in rapid miner of course I will use the read csv operator because the data in this case is in csv file type and the data in this case I will use the data from Kaggle about diabetes classification I will put the link in the description read uh, validation oh, okay this is actual not csv I'm sorry okay diabetes yes we and it's the data data okay so for using the split data it is uh, we can just connect the data to the split data operator but before that I will uh, set role for set role first because I haven't set the role Set role. The I will set the uh, outcome as the level. 
and the rest of the variable will be the uh, regular or the attribute okay we can just uh, connect the set parallel operator to the split data operator uh, in this case in this example I will not normalize the data I will just show you guys how to perform the split data validation so I will not really focus on how to perform a perfect I can say a perfect classification algorithm so I will just uh, let's get into I will just go right into the split data so in the split data we will uh, we will see in the parameter tabs and we will decide the split option for the training and the testing and I will uh, in this case I will split 70% for the training and 30% for the testing okay and in this case, I will use the I think my bias uh, algorithm for classification. In this case, and then in this sampling type, you can uh, use the linear softfold or stratified sampling. But I will just use the automatic one because this is one uh, the default set for this parameter. But it is up to you guys if you guys want to use the linear sampling it is okay there's nothing wrong with that of course i'll use the automatic one and the 71 the 0 0.7 uh, split will connect to the algorithm that we will use and the 30 percent or the 0 0.30 Will connect to the apply model operator okay we will connect this to the unlabeled connector and in this model we will connect this to the model operator model connector okay why is this red mm, oh yeah i haven't I haven't set the, the level as the polynomial. I will set the level once again. I think I'll just go in here, go into the diabetes, and the outcome. I will change the type to binomial. Okay, and then we will use the for performance, we will use the classification performance. And disconnect and connect and then that's it that's how we perform the split data validation in rapid manner that's how we set if we want to set the split we can just set in set that in here and that's how it is it is that simple to use the split data or hold up validation in rapid manner and for cross validation for cross validation, uh, the difference is in rapid manner. In cross validation, we can double click the cross validation operator to see what's inside this operator. And you guys can see there is a training side and a testing side. And the training side, uh, we will use the naive bias algorithm and disconnect the connector. And for model we will connect and don't forget to connect the data and the apply model and the performance I will copy that to the testing side okay okay in the model we will connect the model to the models of course and the UNL wait a minute will connect it to the UNL the test will connect it to the UNL and uh, the performance go to the, go to the performance of course and then that's it and in this parameter tabs uh, we can see we can set the 
parameter from this cross validation we can set the number of volts the default setting for the k or the number of volts is the 10 and uh, same as the split data sampling type is can chosen for example we will use the linear or sample or stratified i will stratify this time and this is if you want to uh, using a random seed for example one two three so the random randomness from the data from the group is still same if we use this random seed okay and then let's just run it and that's oh i haven't connected the performance okay and that's it the accuracy will be different of course uh, from the split data validation cross validation because of course the random random is different the how we split the data is different so it is it is okay it is it is a normal thing if the result of the accuracy is different between the split data and the cross validation uh, approach okay so i think that's all for this video that's all that's how we do the these two validation the split data or the whole data validation and cross validation if you guys have any question you can just uh type in the comment section if you want to like the video you can like if you want to uh subscribe you can subscribe to if you want to dislike mm, that's up to you okay I think that's all for me. That's all for me. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope what I share is useful for you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.